Hello, Jen Connors. I am Ben Licious. I am the art director at Dark Unicorn Games. And I'm Adam Kogan, the uh, game director at Dark Unicorn Games. And uh, we are here to tell you about Super Powered Smash Masters. It's a superhero card game. Um, it plays kind of like a battle royale. Um, you assemble a team of silly superheroes and you go up against everyone else's team of heroes. Last one standing wins. That's, that's just called a weekend for me, I think. That's just <laughs> what I'm normally doing. But now it's in a card game format and everybody can play. So that's what's great about it. You don't all have to be me anymore. Uh, it is a family-friendly card game. Uh, we suggest ages eight and up, but uh, you know, ki different kids have different different skills, and uh, your mileage may vary. <laughs> um, the humor is also very kid-friendly, but we've also worked in some kind of. Uh, insider humor for people who really like comic books and uh, we have some pop, pop culture references and there's some reading but uh, for the most part it is it's very family friendly so if you're a, a comic geek you like comics you like games uh, you want to share that with your kids maybe uh, this is a terrific game uh, for that uh, it's a great way um, to sort of enjoy all the things you like about comics and all the things you like about uh, games and, and playing together on a, with physical cards uh, with your family, uh, then this is really the game for you. That's why we made it. We have kids. Uh, we enjoy playing games with them. Uh, we wanted to in share sort of our love of comics with them as well. And so uh, we've created this entire universe full of wacky characters uh, and fun experiences to explore that and enjoy that with them. And so if, if that sounds like something that you would enjoy, this, this is definitely a game that you'll want to check out. And it's also a satire about comics in a lot of ways. So yeah. if, if you're not too keen on comics, you might find a lot to <laughs> enjoy a lot. Uh, we, we poke fun at comics and the, and the silly mm. things that happen. Because we love it. Or... Because we love yeah. comics. That's because we do it. We do it in a loving way. It's uh, yeah. very tongue in cheek. Yes. Right. Yeah. Um, so it's a battle royale game, as I said. Um, each player takes one turn. They're doing a limited number of actions during their turn, and then it moves on to the next player. So the gameplay happens very quickly. There's not a whole lot of intense decision making while everyone's waiting around for you for you to take your turn so you, you're either performing an action with your hero one of the heroes on your team or you're playing one of the cards that's in your hand and then it moves on to the next player mm -hmm. and the goal is that you're just uh defeating everybody else's team it's the last one standing wins and so you have a team of six heroes, and everyone else has a team of six heroes, and you're just fighting it out, battling it out with the cards that you have in your hand, uh, and the powers that the characters have that are on your team. Uh, maybe you're even using some of the powers that the other players, uh, uh, characters on the other players' teams have against them. Uh, and so there's a lot of good strategy, but it's all there's also a lot of just good old-fashioned comic book fisticuffs and pummeling of superheroes. Right. Uh, shall we take a look at the how to play video? Sure. Yeah, I think that's a that's a good place to start. Hey. Superpowered Smash Busters. Hello, true believers. My name's Adam, and I'm about to give you a basic overview of the game to get you started. Let's lay out the cards. The main deck goes on the right, and the character stack is on the left. Next, draw five cards from your deck into your hand. Now, pick up the character stack and take a look. Choose three cards, then place them face down in front of us. Everyone reveals their cards at the same time. Ready? One, two, three! We chose Dark Unicorn, of course, Rage Ranger, and Cat Lady. Notice their power types, a gadget and two mutants. Muties. Now we're ready to play. Yeah, let's smash it up. Wait a minute. 
We're not ready. We don't know how to play yet. Good point. Let's start with the characters. Each one has a unique power. For instance, Cat Lady has the power to revive stunned teammates. Very useful. Too bad she smells like cats. So many cats. During our turn, we can either use a teammate's power or play a card in our hand. Let's use a smash card. A smash card enables one of our characters to perform a basic attack on one rival character. Place the smash card in front of the attacker, then say who's about to get smashed, like this. Rage Ranger attacks Crimson Crustacean. And then say something real threatening, like, you're going down, pinchy face. That's really not necessary. Trash Talk wins games. Always maintain five cards in our hand. Play a card, draw a card. Crimson Crustacean is stunned. Stunned characters are turned on their sides. Uh-oh, imaginary friend attacks Dark Unicorn. Smash cards can also counter smash attacks. Now the attacker needs to counter us, or he'll get stunned. We can keep trading blows like this until someone runs out of smash cards, or until one of us decides not to counter. What? No! Sorry, Dark Unicorn. Stun characters are helpless. They can't use their powers or defend themselves. If a stun character is attacked, they'll be defeated. There are a few ways to revive a stun character. For instance, Cat Lady can use her power to wake up Dark Unicorn. Oh, what? What happened? There's drool all over my face. Whose drool is this? Most powers cost a turn to use. Super cards are very powerful and can only be used by one specific character. Oh boy, Chillax uses her super. Chillax stuns all non-magic characters on all teams. Ouch, all our characters are stunned. Not good. Hey, bub, you're losing. Yeah, but I'm trying to bub, teach bub, them. Didn't you design this game? Um, Play better. The fiendish player too has us on the ropes. Our whole team is stunned, so we can't use their powers. But don't lose hope. We can still play cards from our hand. Maybe we can shake things up with a story card. They're real good at that. Walk a through. Quite a shakeup. Our whole team revives due to all the racket. But so does Crimson Crustacean. Imaginary Friend and Chillax get stunned. Story cards are powerful stuff. Warning! When using a story card, read the fine print. They may affect your own team, too. Crimson Crustacean attacks Cat Lady. This looks like a job for a team-up card. Team-ups are like smash cards, but the stakes are higher. You need two active characters to play the card. You can play them anytime during a smash battle. They can only be countered by another team-up card. If it isn't countered, we won't just stun our enemy, we'll defeat him. Crimson Crustacean scuttles off to the defeated pile. The goal of the game is to defeat all rival characters. That's how you play super-powered Smash Masters. Smash you later. Not if I smash you first. Great job, Adam. You're a terrific narrator. Yeah, the, the games usually play pretty fast-paced, and, and there is tension at times, but there's a lot more tension when Dark Unicorn is actually jumping in and making commentary. Yeah. So if that's not happening, we will play, play a lot faster. You can make your own sound effects and stuff, though, if you want. That's okay. true. Yeah, we can't stop you from doing and, that. And uh, we have these masks on the website, and you can... You can become Dark Unicorn yourself and then make your own comments, you know, so. That's, that's true. <laughs> that's also optional. Yes. Not required. Mm -hmm. Hey, so let's go through uh, and talk so, about the cards. But before we do that, uh, maybe we could show a little bit of what it is that the game that, that we're actually selling here. Uh, so oh, yeah. uh, this is the, uh, whoops, this is the core set. Uh, of the game 
uh, that we're selling. This is a f sort of a four-player version of the game, and what you get is four decks. Uh, we call it four-player because it comes with four decks. If you have a deck, you can play. So um, you could be somehow the owner of just one deck, and you would be able to still play this game. Uh, but this initial core set is uh, available on the website and on Amazon, and it comes with four decks in it. And they're pre-sorted decks, and you can um, play with them right out of the box if you want. Or um, once you play, get a few games under your belt, you may decide to get ambitious and uh, start customizing your decks, which is why we call it a customizable card game. You are able to build your own deck based on preferences that you may develop uh, as you learn to play the game. Um, so that's the core set and comes with uh, uh, 24 different uh, hero characters. So every deck has its own set of characters um, and uh, sets of story cards and smash cards as well. And um, looks a little bit like this. And um, we also sell the expansion set, as we call it the new recruit set. So it's our first expansion set. And it's uh, what we would call a two-player set, and that's because it comes with two decks. And it comes with uh, 12 more heroes. So the, the heroes that are in the uh, new recruit set and the heroes that are in the core set are different heroes, but you can mix and match them. Uh, so if you have both sets, you can uh, mix them all up and play them together. Uh, there's different uh, story cards in them as well. But uh, we're talking about story cards and hero cards, and so maybe we can... Is there any, I don't know if there's anything to add there, Adam, but if you want, we can move on to cards. Just that uh, with the new recruits set, even though it's a two-player game, um, it is a standalone game. That's you right. don't need the core set to, to play it. If you buy it, if you buy the new recruits set, you can play a game. Mm -hmm. um, and if you buy them both together, you can combine all those cards together and you can play up to six players. Mm -hmm. So, And you can go beyond six players as well. Everyone needs their own deck to play the game. So however many decks there are to go around, that's how many people can join in the game. Mm -hmm. So it really it can expand to your group size. And uh, all the cards are fully illustrated. Uh, we've got lots of fun artwork on them. Uh, the story cards are each individually illustrated. Um, Smash cards, uh, there's different sets of those, but all the characters and their supers, all uh, unique artwork on every card. So lots of value there in terms of pretty things to look at while you play um, and try to make it fun too. So a lot of the humor that we've talked about, some of it comes through in the artwork and some of the jokes uh, might be visual jokes, not just things that you read. So we, we try to make it a lot of very representational of what we're trying to do and, and have fun while you while you play. So, shall we jump into some of the different card sure, types? Sure, yeah. Um, so, there are five types of cards. Yeah, there are five types of cards that you'll find in the game. Um, there are the character cards, which are your heroes. Remember, you're assembling a team of heroes, uh, and you're going to go up against everyone else's team of heroes. So, at the beginning of the game, you're going to have three heroes out with three heroes in reserve. Uh, so if you look at the illustration there, we have uh, Dark Unicorn. That's that's a hero card. They are all have the red border. And um, underneath his title, you'll see the title of the power that he has. And that's uh, one of the things you could be doing during your turn, is, is using one of your hero's powers. And they all have different mm -hmm. ones. Well, I think I have um, his card I can pull up. Hold on a second. Oh, great. Oops, that's story card. Okay. There we go. Dark Unicorn's well, power. Well, there there, that's, yeah, okay. There's Dark Unicorn's hero card. Um, as you can see, next to his head, there's a thing that says Gadget. Mm -hmm. And that's his power type. That's that's the kind of hero he is. And there will be some cards in the deck that will affect all Gadget heroes, for instance. Um, so if you had a full team of Gadget heroes, then that card would affect all of your gadget heroes. Um, Dark Unicorn's particular power is called Pony Power. Have you heard about my sidekick? Dark Unicorn summons his loyal sidekick, Night Pony, from the character stack. Uh, and what that means is when you use his power, he's going to pull his sidekick onto your team. So usually you have three heroes out, but when you use his powers, suddenly you have four heroes to play with. And that just makes you a little bit more power 
helpful, give you more options, the more heroes you have. Mm -hmm. uh, that's kind of a rare case. Typically, the game is played with everyone has a team of three heroes or fewer as they get defeated. Yeah. And uh, here's actually so there, sort of an anatomy more, yeah. of the card here we've got. So each of the characters has ranking. Um, that more or less yeah. tells you how powerful they are, but the uh, uh, it really depends a lot on the context of when they're played. And sometimes some of the characters right. who seem like the least powerful might end up being the last ones on the table. Um, but yeah, so each each card, each character has a power type. Uh, we have a little description on there. It's, that's where a lot of the jokes are, so it's fun to read them out loud. Uh, but then also we try to call out uh, the action of what it actually does so that you can read that more quickly. As you get more comfortable with the game, that may be the only part of the card that you read, uh, but it's still fun to uh, know the jokes and, and play them. Sometimes it's funny just to play a certain card at a certain time just because it's funny. So. Yes, you, you can go through a shorthand if you really just want to play a, a fast game and, mm -hmm. and not read all, all the jokes, but uh, if you want to have fun with that, yeah, you can, you can uh, that yeah some of the people. some of the younger kids really enjoy the the jokes, and so it's fun to read them out loud too. Um, but one of the interesting things, so each each character has their own uh, power, but each character also has their own uh, super card. Right, that is another card that could be in your deck somewhere. Uh, it is. It's going to come to your hand instead of being out on the table like the heroes are. Um, but every hero in the game has their own distinct super card. Mm -hmm. And when your hero is out on the table and you draw a super card that matches that hero, then you get access to an extra special power that is just for that, that one hero. Um, and it, it's it's not necessarily directly related to what what the regular power can do. Um, usually, it's it's much more over the top. Uh, maybe it will affect an entire rival team, um, but it always varies. And um, super cards are also really powerful because they can also revive your hero if they're stunned and kind of out of commission. Um, so that's another wonderful thing about playing a, a, a super card. It's difficult because sometimes you'll draw the card and your hero will have already been defeated and, and you won't get to use it. But when the planets align and uh, you have the hero out and you have the super in your hand, you can line up a really devastating moves. There are actually a few super cards that you can play only after your character has been defeated. Yes, that's um, true. And uh, some, there are even instances where I've intentionally let that character be defeated just so that I could play that card. <laughs> yes. In, so. in fact, we have one of them uh, on screen right now, uh, Power Walker. She's uh, a elderly superhero, uh, and she's a time traveler. So um, when you play her superhero, uh, that super card, you can bring her back from the defeated pile. That's right. So say she's uh, stunned on the board, and what you really want or need is an active hero on the board. And so you can actually let her be defeated, uh, yeah. you play this card, and when she comes back, she'll be active. And now you've got an active character on your on your team instead of a stunned character. Uh, we have a video of you explaining this in a little bit more detail. Do you want to move over to there? We'll watch it. Sure. <laughs> so everyone ignores him. No, no one attacks him, right? No one attacks him because he can't hurt you. Hey, it's Adam at Diversions, Puzzles, and Games, and uh, we're talking today about super cards. Um, for every hero in the game, you've got one of these somewhere in the deck. You don't know when it's going to come come up. You, you don't know when you're going to draw it. But if the planets align and uh, you've got the corresponding hero out on your team, when the super comes out, it's like an extra special power that they can do. And it's usually a little bit more over the top than the regular powers. Like this, this one stuns 
You aim for centaur mass. You can stun every center character. So around the board, around e every, well, everyone, everybody's everyone gets stunned. Yeah. Um, the other n nice thing about super cards is that they revive the character too. So if he's out, um, but he's, he's unconscious, oh, cool. you play that, he's back again, and you get to use that power. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, and it mentioned there that it was uh, now available, and so we would mention that, that it is on the darkunicorngames.com website. You can pick it up there. And right now, uh, during the show, there's a uh, special coupon code that allows you to get a discount, so definitely check it out. Um, and how are they getting that discount code? Um, it is posted uh, on the site, and uh, you can read the code there and uh, put it into the shopping cart on your way out. So definitely check that out. Very good. Um, um, super cards. cards. Smash cards? Yeah. Okay, so here are some different Smash cards. They, they have some different illustrations, but they all do, well, the, the Smash cards do the same thing. The team-up card is a little bit different. Um, a Smash card is kind of a basic attack. You can use it f with any of the heroes that, that are out on the table. Uh, some of your heroes are do not have offensive powers, but this is a way for any of them to do a direct attack against any other hero you want. Um, so what you would do is you would put a smash card down in front of the attacking hero on your team, and you would say, Dark Unicorn, for instance, smashes Rage Ranger. And we saw a little bit of that in the previous video. And uh, then the rival will look in their hand, and if they have any smash cards, then they'll be able to defend themselves. Um, if they don't, then their hero will not be able to, to defend himself or herself, and they will be stunned. So if they do play a smash card, then they're, they've smashed you back. You're in a smash battle here, and now you're going to keep playing Smash cards until somebody blinks, until someone is unable to play a Smash card, and that hero will get defeated. So in the example uh, pictured here, even though Dark Unicorn is starting the battle, he ends up losing the battle and gets stunned. Um, and when they're stunned, what that means is uh, we turn them on the, their side to to show that they are stunned and they can't use their power anymore and they can't defend themselves anymore. It's, it's like they're unconscious. You can think of it that way. So if someone else attacks them while they're in that state, they're very vulnerable and they will get defeated. Um, but there are other cards and other powers that can revive them. So they're still sort of in play even when they're stunned and there's hope that they could be revived again. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned supers before. If you were, if Dark Unicorn was stunned like this, and then you, his super came up in your hand, then you could play that super and revive him at the same time and cause other people. To yeah, this is a, uh, maybe the core mechanic of the game here is to, uh, or the smash battles. And it's probably the easiest thing, especially for younger players to pick up uh, because it just plays a lot like war. Uh, or other card games like that where uh, you're just going back and forth. Uh, but there is some strategy to it, and there is uh, you do have the ability to not play a Smash card if you don't want to, or if you have another way to revive a character or decide that you don't want to be in a particular battle at a certain time, you, can't, you have the option to. Um, but, uh, yeah, so there's... It's uh, basically to knock a character out of the game is a two-step process. You stun them, and then you defeat them. Um, and so that means that we, what we don't have to do is track hit points or, or do any math or anything along those lines. It's a very simple concept to get characters out of the game. Now, team-up cards kind of up the ante a little bit. Uh, so if you're smashing back and forth with smash cards and it's going on a little bit too long and you have a team-up card in your hand, which there are fewer of, but you may have some, uh, once you, if you have two active heroes on your team, you can play a team-up card, because that means you've got two characters against one now. 
And if you play that, the other uh, your opponent has to counter with a team up card now. So that means they have to also have two active characters on their team. And right. if they do, uh, you better have another team up card. But if you don't, instead of just being stunned, you're actually defeated. So it speeds up the process, sort of ups the ante. The risks get a little bit greater, but the rewards are also higher. Uh, so there's a sort of a second tier uh, to the Smash battles that gets a, that uh, ups the tension and makes it a lot more fun. I've always noticed that the Smash battles kind of slow down when the team up cards come out. Everybody's like, "Ooh, do I want to play this?" Right. Okay, I'm playing this. <laughs> I'm hoping yeah. you don't you, have you don't any necessarily team up cards. have to defend the hero that's being attacked if you don't want to, or if, yeah. if you want to save some of your Smash cards for later in the game when you need them more and it's early in the game and you don't you you, know, you feel like you have stronger heroes that are waiting to come out, you might not defend them quite as vigorously. Right. I have a we have a little Smash battle demonstration. Do you want to watch that? Yeah, great. Okay. Hi, I'm Ben. This is Emily. We're playing a game of Super Powered Smash Masters today. I'm going to show you how Smash Battles work. And uh, Emily has three characters over here. I've got three characters on my team. We're going to fight it out to the death. Well, to the stun. We want to stun our heroes. So if I win this Smash Battle, say I attack her hero here, she would turn it to be stunned like so. She has smash cards in her hand she can use to counter my attack, and if she wins, I will stun my hero like so. So here we go, I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm gonna play smash card in front of my hero. And I'm gonna say Zero is attacking Ghost Pirate. I'm gonna draw another card in my hand so that I always have five cards. Now it's Emily's turn. She has a smash card, so she has countered my attack. It is back to me. Here we go. All right. He's got a lot of smash cards. I'm out of smash cards, but I do have a team up card. This is a different kind of smash card. It requires two he active heroes to play it because they're teaming up. Uh, once I play this, she has to have a team up card of her own to counter it. And if I win, instead of just being stunned, her character is now defeated. Same for me, so I'm hoping she doesn't have one. Here we go, I'm playing this team up card. And she played a team up card. Zebro is defeated. I've lost, that didn't work out so well for me, but that's how you do a smash battle in Super Powered Smash Masters. We'll see you next time. <laughs> So smash battles can be a lot of fun, and um, I don't know if you noticed, but uh, while they were playing smash cards, every time you play a card, you also draw a card. Mm -hmm. So depending on what's in your hand, you may just have one smash card in your hand, but there are you know that there are a lot in your deck. So you could start a smash battle, and then you immediately play uh, draw another card, and it could be another smash card. So you could keep extending the smash battle for for quite a long time. I think the way it works out is that about half your deck is smash cards. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, there, there's a lot of smash. There are far there. fewer, there are far fewer team up cards though. So you That's really right. don't know if you're going to have one of those. And mm -hmm. chances are pretty good that when you play a team up card, the other player is not going to have one. Or um, you, it's a, it, it can, uh, depending on how, how fast you play through your deck, you can almost mentally keep track of how many team-up cards the other player has played. And so you may know when they're out, depending on how they've built their deck. Um, but also, uh, once you play through your deck, you reshuffle and you've kind of got a chance to, <laughs> to pull some of them back up again. So longer games gets more complicated. But uh, usually, usually I have more trouble keeping track of those things. So... Uh, it's a, more of a surprise when it happens. So we've talked about. So we've we've talked we've talked about four of the five card types in the yeah. game. Um, oh, was there another note about Smash cards? You no, okay. no, I was just moving uh, on. We talked about cards. 
yeah, we've talked about four of the five, and the last one uh, is uh, the story card. And we see three examples of them here. This is another card that's in your deck that could end up in your hand. Um, and remember what we said was when you're on your turn, you're either using one of your hero's powers or you're playing one of the cards in your hand. And uh, chances are you'll get some of these. Um, they do a wide variety of different things. Some of them um, will give you more turns or give you more cards. Some of them will destroy, will complete, will immediately defeat a certain type of hero. Um, the ones pictured here, we have Dino Shark Rampage. The Dino Sharks escaped from the lab again. Fortunately, the scientists that created them have issued a formal apology. So that made everyone feel good. Mm -hmm. uh, all players must choose to defeat one of their characters. So what that means is around the table, and it says all players, Including everyone you. has to choose one of their heroes to defeat. You choose your own hero to defeat. Mm -hmm. So in a sense, that's, that's better than them choosing what hero gets defeated. Um, but you'll notice it says all players, and that's one of the catches about story cards is that sometimes it affects you too, even though you're playing the card. And if you're not careful, you could hurt yourself worse than anyone else. You really have to think through what the card does. Um, so in the next example here, we have Rogue Robots. The evil Roy Droid has arrived, oh, has uh, armed all of the robot arms at the car factory. Only a crazy person would go in there. Wait, why are you going in there? <laughs> uh, defeat all mutant and gadget characters unless they counter with a smash card. So if you play this card, and your team is full of mutant and gadget characters, and you don't have a lot of smash cards, then you will have devastated your own team. Um, yep. And the next example, X-Forced. Whoa, freaky. This player just came down with a case of sudden X-ray vision syndrome. It happens. Uh, you may peek at the hand of a rival player. So... Uh, depending on the context, that could be a really great thing uh, you know, you might see some kind of devastating attack coming your way that you can plan on and defend yourself against, or mm -hmm. it really won't have much impact at all. It really just depends on, on what's happening in the game. I've found that uh, that's a good card to play if you're wondering whether your opponent has one of their hero's super cards in their hand. <laughs> Uh, because that may affect your decisions. And yeah. once you get to know right. the, the characters, you know what they can do. You also know what their super cards can do. Uh, and so, you know, you may be worried right now that uh, I can see they're set at this place. person's setting me up for a super card. And I want to check and see whether they've got it or not. Um, the trick with it, though, is it takes a turn. And so uh, you need to be sort of a couple couple moves ahead to really use it effectively for that particular use. But sometimes it's just really good to know. There are other times, too, like with the Rogue Robots one, If even if you do have... Uh, some some of these story cards will just flat out defeat a character and you there's nothing you can do about it. This one, though, lets you counter with the Smash cards. So even if you do yeah. have a team full of mutant and gadget characters... But say your hand is nothing but smash cards. Uh, this actually might be a good way to uh, put your other put your opponents at risk, um, knowing that you're going to be pretty safe, and you can discard some smash cards at the same that you might not want in your hand at that time. Draw some new cards and see if you can uh, improve your deck with super cards or uh, story cards. So, though typically when I've got a handful of smash cards, I just start smashing people. Just everything gets smashed. Yes, that's why. I, that's why, why I need a new coffee that. table. Yeah, the uh, the X Forced card also makes me think of um, those those ads in the old comic books for for X ray specs. <laughs> yeah, I've never actually tried one of them, but I imagine it would be just like this. Yeah, my daughter's just started reading through my old Spider Man comics because uh, I've just got uh -huh. them all sitting in the closet here, and so she's uh, interested Hankering in all the for ads Kate. that are showing up. And I remember, like, she's 16. And uh, before, you know, I was about her age. That's when I was collecting them. And I was going to this, and I'd come back with all the back issues. And in one issue of Spider-Man, I found these old-style web shooters. And they were just so awesome looking. And I couldn't, 
I was like, you know what? I know this is an old back issue. I'm sending away for these. <laughs> <laughs> and so I did. And about six weeks later, I got a letter that said, I'm sorry, this company no longer exists. <laughs> this is products no longer available. So oh, I got a letter back. Nice. I think, I hope I got that my money nice. back. Is that directly from, from the postal worker? Yeah, it may have been from Spider-Man himself. I'm not sure. Mm. Yeah. Uh, we have a little video about story cards. My daughter is uh, starring it, so you can. It's a little bit before she's sixteen, but uh, let's watch that. She does a pretty good job of explaining where and when she wants to use her um, story card. Oh hi! I see you have found us playing a, a game of Smash Masters, and. My name is Emily, and I am in a kind of a pickle, you see. I have three stunned heroes right now, and it's my turn. But there's a problem. On the other team, Cool Man here has a power. And his power is that he can attack stunned heroes without a card. So that means I'm very vulnerable. You know, he can attack any of my guys, and they'll all be out. Well, one at a time. So, in order to stop him, I'm going to use a story card. It's called Golden Age. It says, your doctor says you need to cut out on salt, saturated fats, and crime fighting. Yep, you're getting too old for this stuff. Choose a rival hero to retire. So not only does that mean I get to defeat another hero on his team, but I get to pick. I'm playing Golden Age, and I want Cool Man out. So that means Ethan has to take him out. And that's what this specific gold story card does. Thank you for watching. Yeah, you always got to watch out for Cool Man. He's trouble. Cards were actually prototype cards. Um, they have now all been illustrated with uh, individual illustrations. So all the heroes and yep. all the story yep. cards and all the super cards have their own illustrations now. So that was an early version of the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like we mentioned, we've got uh, uh, comic book artist Dean Kotz doing all of our story cards and he's done a terrific job of injecting a lot of the humor of the game uh, into it um, and uh, we've got a number of other professional artists doing some of our character cards as well uh, guys like uh, Ron Friends and Pat O'Leaf and uh, a lot of uh, classic uh, guys who have been in the biz for a long time uh, some independent artists as well so uh, yeah. a lot of fun Everybody. Like artist Ben Lichtig. Yeah. Ben, you did quite a bit of the art yourself. I did a lot of the artwork, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, and uh, that's that's actually one of the things that I enjoy most about this game is I love spending my day drawing comic book characters. <laughs> and so I, lo I love this game. So please buy it. We want. I want to do this more. I want to like... Here, I'm going to put this back up. I want to... Uh, sit around in my house drawing comic book characters all day. So please pick up a copy. And Ben's also follow. created some, some art videos about the, the process of, of illustrating these cards that uh, you can find on our website and on our YouTube channel and stuff like that. So um, if you just want to learn the basics of, of how he's putting these together from start to finish, um, they're, they're great videos to, to watch and, and just kind of general art tips. Mm -hmm. Um, if you are a budding artist or you know someone who wants to learn more about art, they're, they're, they're great for that as well. Yeah, and they're... Even um, if you choose not to draw superheroes. <laughs> I don't know why you I don't, I'm not sure why you would you learn to draw to and then not them. draw superheroes. I, I don't understand yeah. that concept yeah. at all. Uh, but I guess it's possible. Idea. I guess you would, you know, I don't know. Uh, some people do. Maybe draw supervillains. That's the only other thing I can really think of that you might want to yeah. draw. Uh, besides that, that's yeah. a good point. Um, they draw themselves. I have a I have a little speed paint video. Do you want to watch that? See how see how um, yeah. it comes together. 
Yeah, this is uh, the artwork for the Dr. Wizard uh, card. lost me for a second there yeah uh, so Ben when you are drawing these cards do you usually start with a physical pencil sketch and then you scan it in or do you work entirely digitally these days um, a little bit of both it kind of I think depends on where I am when the idea hits <laughs> wow. sometimes uh, if I'm at the table then it's I'm I'm just sketching uh, or if I'm uh, just taking a break at lunch or something, and I've uh, just got a piece of paper. So I primarily, I guess, do pencil sketch. But I've started uh, most of the inking and coloring work is all digital. Uh, and I, since I've got a nice new tablet to draw with, uh, I have started doing more digital sketching. Um, but I think there's something I still really like about physical pencils and being able to use those. Um, but uh, yeah, there's uh, and you'll see more of that process a little bit if you do go onto the, our YouTube site and look at maybe some of the other art videos that are there. Uh, and we do have a lot of videos on YouTube, um, not just for that, but also for the game uh, to explain how it's all played. So anything that you've seen here is definitely on there. We try to make our website as much of a resource for the game as possible so that you can go onto the website, learn how to play, if you have questions about the game, there's uh, usually answers for it. The rule book is up on the website. Uh, there's a, an encyclopedia of all the care of all the cards up there, so that you can uh, look at them in greater detail. Uh, there's forums where you can talk to other uh, players. Um, also, just a way to get in touch with us and, and contact us if you have questions. We we want feedback. We want to hear from everybody who's playing the game. Um, we're on Facebook. We're on Twitter, Instagram. So. You can follow us on social media. Um, we post um, fairly regularly. This summer's been a little bit of a challenge, and and so 
Uh, we want to make sure and, uh, and uh, get the word out about the game, but uh, we also want uh, to focus on uh, some of the things that are important for people. We want everyone to be able to play our game and do so at home and be safe. So um, not being able to go to shows has been a little bit of a challenge, but um, we still want to yeah, make they, sure that really you're amazing. able to reach us if you want to, and we're able we're, to reach we're out to Gen Con this year. Yeah. We're yeah. Gen Con this year. Uh, we were hoping to be there mm -hmm. as everyone else was, but this yeah. would have been our kind of debut with, with the game. So we're hoping to meet some of you out there. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, it, as it turns out, even though this is a, a game that is printed and ready to buy right now, uh, it was made by actual people. That's true. Uh, we're, we're, we are actual people who, who made the game. And uh, if you want to, you can jump onto social media and ask us questions and we'll probably answer them. Mm -hmm. I think we will. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't, I guess. I don't, I guess I don't want to say out loud what exact questions we might not answer, but uh, yeah. I think you should. I think no, no don't. <laughs> Uh, should. Okay, I'm not giving up any of my grandma's I recipes. Mean. That's it. I'm sorry. I know that's what you were going to ask, <laughs> but I'm not. Mean I'm just, I know that's rude, but I'm just not going to do it. Yeah. I like those. Well, cookies. anyway, anyway, uh, we've talked about how the game is played. We've gone over the cards. And um, I guess I would just add that for a two to three player game, uh, the gameplay would be about 15 minutes or so, depending on your knowledge of the game. Mm -hmm. um, we've shown a lot of examples with just two players, and you can definitely play the game that way, and, and the games go very quickly. But as long as everyone has their own deck, they can join in the game. So you, it really extends to any size, any group, uh, any, you know, if you have a large family over and or you, you, you want to, all played together then as long as you have enough decks they can all join in um, and uh, as Ben mentioned before it's also a very customizable game so if you end up with heroes that you like or you've played around with them and you've thought up some new strategies but the deck that came in the box doesn't have all the cards that you need to use those strategies you can mix and match and create your own deck that is really customized to what you want to do. And that, that's actually a very important part of the game. Um, and you can also depart from strategy and just do sort of a theme thing. Like if you, if you love mutants, you can make an all mutant hero team. Or if you want to go with a gadget theme, uh, then you could do that. Or if you wanted to do an all-female team, you can do that too. So there are a lot of different possibilities. And yeah, uh, no, if, I think if you, uh, if, you own, if you own the core set and the expansion, they both have different heroes, and you can mix and match those cards too to make a brand new deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that uh, I, I know people that have. Uh, they like to just spend time just coming up with deck ideas and pitching them back and forth and saying, you know, what would be a good, right. you know, uh, if I have this story card, maybe I should have this hero in my deck because their super does something that complements that story card. And so there's, it's a simple game. Uh, we sort of talk about it as a primer for some of the more complicated uh, trading card games um, that are out there. Um but because it's so accessible to younger players, it, it does help introduce them to some of the um, core concepts of games like that. Uh, but that doesn't mean that it's an overly simple game. Uh, there's definitely some depth to it and uh, levels of uh, strategy. So it's easy to pick up, but there's um, it's good for adults who also enjoy playing it because yeah. uh, we want to be able to play with our kids. Yeah. Uh, and I may look like I pulled out all my hair. Uh, maybe, but uh, it wasn't from playing this game uh, with my kids. So we, we wanted to make sure that we had a game uh, that was fun for them to play, but also fun for us to play so that we could spend time together. Uh, I'm glad so, you covered that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, 
So the core set and the expansion are currently available on our website. And they also just became available on Amazon as well. Mm -hmm. So that's really cool. We're really happy about that. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, I can show both of them here, I think. Yeah. So, um, yeah, there's the core set. And, and, and uh, I, I also want to just lastly mention that um, if you've played collectible card games, like Ben was saying, uh, you'll find some ideas that, that are kind of familiar to you. Um, but this is not a collectible card game in that there, there are no random cards. So you, you know exactly what you're going to get in the box. Right. Um, there are different hero cards and some different story cards in each set, in the New Recruit set, uh, which is an expansion, and the core set, which is a four-player game. Um, but you know exactly which ones are, are going to be in the box. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we'd like to add more. Like to add more cards, and we've got more in the works. We just uh, we want to get them out more. and let people enjoy them. Uh, but cool. Uh, well, we talked about um, covered most of the all the uh, cards and a lot of the strategies, and and talked about how we can how it's fun it is to play with your family. So, do you want to? We have a a video that uh, is me playing with my son Ethan, just to sort of show what a full game looks like or how, how it can go. And I think uh, it incorporates a number of the um, uh, gameplay elements that we talked about, Smash Battles and Super Cards and Story Cards and stuff. So um, let's watch that and we can uh, see how it goes. Excellent. Super Power Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Ethan. And we're going to play a game of Super Powered Smash Masters for you today. We've got our hero stack here in our deck. Okay. We're going to draw five cards out of our deck into our hand to start. This looks like it'll be a fun one. Okay, and then uh, Everyone's a fun take one. a look at there. And based on that, we will pick some heroes to play. We'll put, we've will put got six. We're going to put three out to start. And all right, I have ready the quitter, Stormy Heather, one man army versus non profit Zebro and Rumblebee. Okay, let's ready. smash it up. Smash it up. Okay, go ahead. Okay, you can start. I'm gonna go first, and let's see going to with non-profit attack one man army mm-hmm then draw play a card draw a card smash 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 oh. Oh, no! All right. Darn so, it. the Smash cards would have just stunned him, but because we went to the team up, we graduated to team up cards. He is now defeated. So, that'll teach you. When one main army wins a Smash battle, he stuns a second rival of his choice. So, even though he's defeated, I think that means I get to stun somebody else. Yeah. All right. I'm going to stun Rumblebee. Smart. Okay, now it's my turn. Oh, this is going to be rough. Zebra is safe from non-nature smash attacks. Ooh, darn. Okay, Eugene to Genie. I'm waiting with the team up because I knew he doesn't have one. And Unless he picked one up. And I also get... stun anyone. I get to stun a rival of my choice. But I don't... Yeah, I can't do him, though. So you can't really stun anyone? I guess anyone. not. Out that doesn't, doesn't quite seem core. fair to stun your new guy. He wasn't on the field. All right, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to play... Let's see. I'll play Zero Issues. Your Zero Issue has been described by critics as a great jumping off point. Readers are jumping off your book and are reading something else. All rival players must choose to defeat one of their characters. 
Ah, man. Um, all right, I'm going to defeat the quitter and bring out Implausible Man. And I'm going to play this story card. Discontinued. Canceled is such a strong word. Let's just say you're in between books right now. Defeat Arrival. I'm going to defeat Dark Unicorn. Oof. How comes Night Pony? Let's see. Going to play Dreaded Judge. Our super teens are accused of crimes against the Galactic League of smaller of planets and dwarf planets and smaller but equally, implant, equally important planetoids. Will the sentence be freedom or the uncomfortable zone? All players must choose a card. If it's a smash, uh, draw a card. If it's a smash card, your team is safe. If not, stun your team. I'm safe. You are not. Your team is stunned. Well, that backfired. Maybe it did. Maybe it didn't. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Well, I think actually I'm going to take this opportunity to discard a card. So it's now it's your turn. Crack a thum, random explosions, enough said. Stun all active characters, then revive all previously stunned characters. Okay, that's a big turn. My whole team is revived. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm gonna play Origin is the New Smash. With your enemies, your enemies can't withstand another boring rehash of your origin story. Stun a rival team. What in the world? Everyone is now stunned. Ah. Well, since everyone on my team is stunned, that means I have that means I am able to discard my entire hand actually. So I'm right. going to do that. That's uh You're right. That's a, a rule that's in there. Mhm. Mm got nothing better. Uh Hmm. I'm going to play discard is my favorite, which means everybody discards their hands and draws new ones. So. Ooh. Okay, that was a mistake because I drew new mutation. A mysterious virus oh, sweeps the country. All mutants expect unexpectedly grow colorful wings and migrate to Mexico. Defeat all mutant characters. I have none right. on my team. Yeah, I have two, but you know what that means. Now I've got two active heroes. So I'm no! thinking that was a mistake on your part because there goes Zebro. Bye, Zebro. Okay, I'm going to play... Yeah, that was a mistake on my part. I'm going to play Infringement. One of your characters resembles a character from that other comic pu publisher. Cease and desist. Choose a rival to defeat. Going to defeat Sand Sheriff. Rumble B. Ah, wrong pile. Okay. Tire team discarding my entire hand, and you probably can defeat me with one last card. Night pony. Oh no! I win. All right. Hey, good game. <laughs> All right. I like watching uh, me uh, win games against myself. Finally beat him. Yeah, finally beat him. Yeah. Usually he wins. It was, and I think we may have recorded that like four or five times before we sort of got we so we played several games to get a decent uh a decent recording and he beat me every other right. time <laughs> you, you chose the one where you, you yeah we had like we had technical that. problems whenever i was <laughs> right. doing every day <laughs> every time i lost yeah yeah so it's this is a superhero a fast-paced superhero card game you can play with your family and if you're doing it right you're also smashing your children's dreams Yes, that's right. Um, that that is not actually included in the box, but it's <laughs> implicit in the gameplay. It's just sort of a nice bonus. Yeah, it's just a perk. Yeah. Um, 
And yeah, that is super powered Smash Masters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so yeah. definitely, like we said, uh, check it out online on the website. Uh, learn more about it there. You can learn more uh, about it on uh, social media. Uh, reach out to us. We're anxious to hear from you. Um, and uh, we hope that you get a chance to play the game and enjoy it as much as we do. Uh, we've got a little unboxing video that we can kind of go out with. And uh, we hope that uh, you're having a good rest of your show and that we will see you again soon. Bye, folks. Smash you later. Smash you later.